We're back here at 9705 Windsor Road uh, doing the 8.5 kilowatt PV ground mount system. We're still working on the rack, and I'm going to describe what I did today to uh, lay the vertical post. Uh, as you see, you can see the vertical post on the front horizontal and back horizontal piping are laid in the pier holes, and I'll take you through how I did that today. So the first thing that I did was measure every single hole and map uh, the whole array and figure out how much piping I needed in each hole. And what you had to do is measure up three inches from the bottom to the bottom of the T fittings. And what I did is I created a little map on a piece of wood that shows me every single hole and shows the length of pipe that I needed for each hole. Uh, we have six pieces of 250 inch, inch and a half schedule 40 uh, metal piping. So what I did is I just looked for combinations of three lengths that equaled as close to 250 inches as possible. So uh, we ended up with, I was able to make combinations that only left about six inches of waste in 1,500 inches. I only had, uh, piping, I only had six inches of waste, so it seemed to work pretty well. Uh, from there, what I did is I went ahead, and I'll bring you over here. I went ahead and cut the pipe with a skill saw, and uh, we had a metal blade for that, uh, which worked fine. And then what I did is before setting the pipe or doing, uh, finishing off the pipe, I actually took that shop back, and what we have to do for inspection is basically clean out every single hole. That was a huge pain and a lot of work uh, because of the auger, the bit of the uh, the drilling rig that we had left about 8 to 10 inches of soil in the bottom of each hole. So you can see we've got these little piles, huge, actually big piles of dirt uh, that filled up pretty much every single hole, filled up an entire, that entire shop back. And that took me a couple hours to clean out uh, all of these 16 holes. So don't forget that amount of work. That's the fun stuff. Uh, then what I did is I came over here and I had to, uh, now that I had the pipe cut, I had the right lengths, but that's not all you have to do. You also have to put rebar steel in the bottom of the pipes because I guess engineers are worried that, you know, if a 600 mile an hour wind comes along, the two tons of PV panels on the racking system might float up out of the concrete, even though they're 42 inches in depth in the concrete. So you have to, I used a a uh, little grinder to grind into the metal at the bottom of the pipe. To, and I took the rebar and hammered it through. So a little piece of rebar sticking through the bottom of the pipes that will set in the concrete and prevent any uh, pipe from lifting out of the pier holes. Um, and that is about it. Then I took, then once I had that, I then took the pipes over here to the racking system. And I slid them into the T-fitting, and what you do is you slide the pipe into the T-fitting. You, you basically tighten up, once you get it set against the top of the T-fitting, you tighten the bottom uh, uh, wrench, you tighten the bottom of the T-fitting where there's a thread for an Allen wrench, a 316 Allen wrench, and you tighten that up, and then you leave the top one loose so you can slide it back and forth to set it in the middle of the uh, hole. And then you can also slide it back and forth, like towards me or away from me, in case the your hole is not exactly, or your or vertical is not exactly centered in the middle of the hole. You can push it off of level to get it to center in the hole if you need to. So that's all we did today. Everything's set. We are next thing we're going to do is we are going to put on the railings uh, on Friday, and then we will be set in concrete, and then eventually putting on the panels and hooking everything up. Thanks. Bye.